Hi there ladies, it's Ruby. I have been asked by a lovely lady called Diana, whose link to her channel will be underneath this video. She just wants me to show um, how I do my papers, my A4 tea dyed papers, um, preparing them for the, the pages for the books that I make. So I said I would do that. So I hope you enjoy today's um, little video. Okay, here's what I've done. I have lightly spread some Mod Podge on the right side of the A4 paper. So I'm going to put that very pretty rice paper onto the right hand side which has been you know lightly spread with the Mod Podge. Now I normally use grease proof paper to iron on any images like that onto paper but it was rubbish paper that grease proof paper that I bought so I thought oh well to heck with it I'm just going to have to put it on and I'm going to fold the paper in half and I'm going to iron it and see what how it turns out. So I did. I, I closed it up, ironed it, you know, took a deep breath thinking, oh, is it going to stick? And it did. It worked really, really well. So you don't need greaseproof paper when you're putting on any images. As far as I'm concerned, it worked. And there's the proof that it did. So I'm really, really pleased that turned out so there's no bumps no nothing it's just it's just turned out lovely okay I'm going to put some real dried flowers as the thing says there and I'm going to arrange them as I want them lightly mudge podge that paper and just you know put them out as I want them and I did and I wanted them like that they are stuck down with the mudge podge and so far my project you know for adding some paper into a book is is working so i'm i'm really really pleased about that and i hope you enjoyed seeing the flowers go on and especially with the ironing you know turning it over and ironing it that's a new one on me and maybe you knew that already i don't know so there's just a bit more paper there that i would use and pretty napkins little pieces of photographs i would, I would put on there um, I'm very happy with uh, the finding out that I can just turn the page over and put the iron on it the way I did. I had no idea you could do that until the other day. So what I'm going to say to you now, ladies, is thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you soon in another video. Bye.